Hi, my name is Jace of Eclipse Effect Events and thanks so much for joining me right here today. And let's talk about the wedding toast. Now, what is the wedding toast? Well, it's a few words, stories, or well wishes for the couple. And a good toast is usually short, but sweet, and has some humor or emotion. But the best toasts are always memorable. And it's usually given by the best man and the maid or matron of honor. Now, here's some tips to give a good wedding toast. First off, just remember, a good toast is between three to five minutes. Three minutes is pretty much the sweet spot for a toast. It keeps people's attention just long enough and it gets your message across. All right, tip number two is where you'll station yourself. So if I am giving the wedding toast, I'm the best man and I am to the left of the groom. The groom is right on this side of me. All I'm gonna do is stand up out of my seat. I'm gonna turn myself towards the newlyweds and give my toast from this position. And I say that because, you know, podiums are great, but nothing like, you know, being in photos right next to the newlyweds while you give your toast. It makes for great photos, but not only that, also great videos too. And the final piece of advice is if you're not a great public speaker, it's more than acceptable to just look at the newlyweds while you give your wedding toast. Because in the last step, uh, we just mentioned to just stand up out of your seat. So you're going to be right next to the newlyweds. So you can just turn your body and just look at them directly while you are giving the wedding toast. Because this is a wedding toast. This is a, a toast to the couple and not a speech to the crowd. And most of the time, I'll use the term wedding toast. I'll seldomly ever use the word wedding speech. And that's because, you know, when you think of a speech mentally, it kind of does something to you that's different from when you use the term toast. When you think about a speech, it, it's kind of like something that's more formal, something more professional. But when you use the term toast, it does something to people mentally where a toast is just doesn't seem as formal. So that's why I always use the term toast. And I noticed that it works in a, in a way to kind of calm people a little bit more. And if you're wondering what goes into a wedding toast, here's a simple template of an outline of a wedding toast. First thing is how did you meet the couple? Second point to cover is one or two stories of something really memorable that happened between you and the bride or the groom. Lastly, one piece of advice for the couple. Now let's cover some basic mic techniques. When you're giving a wedding toast, uh, let me switch over to this mic here. All right, here I am with the handheld mic. This is what you'd most likely be using at a wedding. So here's some basic mic skills. So you're going to be holding the mic close to your mouth, just like this. You see how close it is? Um, and then you're going to speak from here. You know, one of the things that I notice is when people get nervous, they start to read something and their, the mic slowly drifts down like this. And <laughs> by the time you know it, they're ending, they end up giving the, the speech like this with the mic this far away. But do you hear how the difference between the mic up here and the mic down here? Because if the mic is down here and the sound guy has to compensate for the mic being so far away from your mouth, he starts to turn up the volume and that's when you start to have feedback. So what I always tell people is if you're holding the mic and you're speaking through the mic and it starts to get softer, that means the mic is getting farther and farther away from your mouth. From your mouth. So make sure you always hold the mic up to your mouth just like this. Well, hopefully this advice will help you, especially if you'll be giving a toast sometime in the future. If you like more advice videos just like this one, wedding and event advice videos, visit us on YouTube at Eclipse Effect Events. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell. Also, visit our website at eclipseeffect.com.